My name is Roger Carlson, and I am passionate about making teams successful. Hi, my name is Roger Carlson, and I am passionate about making teams successful. Hi, my name is Roger Carlson, and I am passionate about making teams successful. Hi, my name is Roger Carlson, and I am passionate about making teams successful. Hi, my name is Roger Carlson, and I am passionate about making teams successful. Hi, my name is Roger Carlson, and I'm passionate about making teams successful. I love engaging individuals in such teams to go the extra mile and perform at the very best to achieve the goals. I believe in communication, collaboration, and understandable goals over formal processes and tools. And the true key to success, in my opinion, is effective teamwork. I truly believe this is achieved by building a positive energy within a team by working closer together, sharing both successes and failures, and to help each other out. Such teams have far better chances to be effective and to stay successful, but in addition they will also have the courage to undertake even greater challenges. Today I will talk about when I hate Agile. When the Agile revolution becomes more important than the Agile evolution. When the Agile method becomes more important than the purpose of our work. When we try to implement an Agile way of working without an Agile way of thinking. But first I will talk about changes. Like people going on a diet, many of us believe that a change is just a time-bound exercise. We just have to eat less and exercise more, for now. We don't realize that if we want to stay with a change, we have to live with it, forever. It needs to change our DNA. This is not done by shifting a process or adding a new methodology or running a change program. No, a change has to happen at a company's core with its people. Most critical, it needs to be embodied with our company leaders, so they can guide us and support us through the change. Adopting a different work style is committing to a lifestyle change, not just an aggressive diet. When we implement an agile way of working, we often forget to take it one step at a time. We forget to inspect and adapt. We are so eager to get started, joining the Agile revolution, becoming Agile. So when we implement Scrum, we appoint Scrum Masters, Product Owners, Team to get started with Sprint Planning, Sprint Reviews, Sprint Retrospectives, etc. Did I mention the burn down shop? When we implement SAFE, we add Program Managers, Release Train Engineer, Solution Manager, Solution Architect, Epic Owner, Enterprise Architect, etc along with a variety of meetings. Here we go, what are you waiting for? Confident vote, five. If this is Agile, well then I hate Agile. You see, when we implement Scrum, we implement 10 changes, including all new roles and meetings. 10 changes that we need to inspect and adapt to. 10 changes that we must understand the purpose of. 10 changes that we will live with for the rest of our lives. Or until we make a new change. Oh, you want to go for safe? Well, then we have to implement at least twice as many changes. If our goal is to become agile, the agile transformation usually takes the form of a revolution because changes are expensive and must be implemented quickly so we get the outcome faster, right? Well, I'm not so sure. You see, in a revolution, we want to escape from something. We want to move away from something, something we don't like. In our case, it's usually the waterfall process. For some reason, the waterfall process has got a really bad reputation, even though it's really good for those situations it's suited for. In a revolution, there are also these freedom fighters. 
They are the ones in the front with the flag showing the way for the rest of us. I usually call these religious project managers. A religious project manager is someone who's been working in that waterfall for 10, 15, 20 years, got tired of it, and suddenly they are introduced to Agile, often the Scrum method. So they're changing method, nothing else. And suddenly, Kingdom of Heaven opens. Two days later, there are certified Scrum Masters, adding the Scrum Master badge to a LinkedIn profile. Congratulations. And then they travel around, preaching Agile with their Agile Bible. If you question anything they say, you always get the same answer. It's by the book. Oh, is there a book? Which book? You have to allocate 20% of your time for bug fixing and improvements. Why? How do you know? It's by the book. It's like there's a rule book that says exactly how we should work agile. And if you're not following it, you're not agile. There's a 20 year old agile manifesto with guidelines, but it says nothing about 20% for bug fixing and improvements. How much time we spend on bug fixing and improvements must depend on the need for bug fixing and improvements. One team maybe needs 20%, another one 25%, and a third one only 5%. You see, one glove doesn't fit all. Just copying a method without understanding the core, the engine of the method, is not sustainable. Because tools and methods lack something we need to succeed. Leadership. Adopting a new way of working, a new method, a new tool, means committing to a lifestyle change, not just an aggressive dieting program. We can link the change to points of improvements and business goals, but they will never be part of the company culture without leadership. We don't need this agile revolution where we're trying to move away from something. We need the agile evolution where we're going towards something instead. You see, the methods we're working with today wasn't created in one stride. They are based on thoughts from several thousand people around the world. Experimenting, changing, inspecting, adapting, changing, failing, changing again, improving. Continuously. We are part of that evolution. Now it's our turn. So go ahead, read the books, attend the conferences, learn the rules. But rules and methods are not something you should copy. You should get inspired by them and use them as a guide in your organization. Then you break the rules, you cheat, you experiment, and you learn. There is no Kanban police. Don't worry about failing because you will. Working agile means to inspect and adapt continuously, even when we implement an agile way of working. One thing at a time, inspect and adapt. It's not a meeting. It's a way of thinking. It's a mindset. So learn which tools that have the largest impact on your success in your organization and which ones only cost you time. Build a stable foundation and inspect and adapt based on it. Thank you.